Hello everybody, it's Mr. Montgomery again. Today we're on page 113. This is lesson 3-2. Alright, so if you're not on this page yet, make sure that you pause the video, find page 113, and then press play. Alright, so, first thing we're going to do is we're going to read this little story problem that they gave us, and every time when we hear something special, we are going to... Circle it. That's all we're going to do. Just circle it. Okay. Arnie runs six miles on Thursday. Well, how many miles did he run? He ran six. That's pretty important, so we're going to circle it. He runs five more miles on Friday. How many miles did he run? Five. And we have this word more, which tells us if we're going to add or subtract. Right? It kind of helps us. But let's finish reading, see if there's any more clues. How many miles did Arnie run in all? These words in all are very, very special. I'm going to put a box around it. Okay, when we see these words in all, they're going to tell us something very, very special. Now, do you think that the words in all tell us we need to use a plus sign or a minus sign? Are we going to be adding or subtracting? Which one do you think it is? Well, when, since we know we have the word more, right? And we have the words in all, that tells us we're going to add. So we're going to need our plus sign. So if we're going to make a quick addition sentence, let's do, let's, uh, do it before we go any further. Let's make a line for a number. We need our plus sign because we're adding. We need another line for a number. We need our epic equal sign and our answer line. Now, since we're adding, which number should go first, the f 6 or the 5? Does it really matter? Not really. But what I like to do is, no matter what, I always put the big number first. Because when we subtract, we always have to put the big number first, right? So this way you're just constantly in the routine of putting the bigger number in front. Well, when we have the choice anyway. So I like to put the 6 first, and that means the 5 will go second. Now, you can see down here, they kind of gave us this blank number line. They didn't give us any numbers at all. And the way that they show us on the next page, I'll be honest with you guys, is very confusing. I do not like it. I am not a fan of it. I'm going to show you what I do instead. So I know we have our number line on our desk, right? And we also have one on our wall. But if we didn't have a number line, we could easily make one. And what I like to do is, I like to start my number line with the first number. So this way we don't, we're not writing uh, number one all the way through 20, right? Because that would just be a lot, ton of writing, and we don't really have the time. So what I like to do when I have a problem like this is, I'll make a little line there, and I'll make sure that the 6 is the first number. Okay? The first number is where we start, right? So why would I waste my time writing the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5? We're not starting back there, so my first number is going to be 6. Now let's count on, and let's make some more numbers, okay? So 6, then after 6 we have 7. After 7, we have 8. After 8, we have 9. After 9, we have 10. After 10, we have 11. After that, we have 12. And our last number, I'll make it 13. Now, if you need a couple more seconds to make this number line in your book, please make sure you press that pause button. But if you were doing it very fast with me, well, then we're going to keep moving on. My other friends, make sure you just hit play when you're done. So, what we're going to do is, our first number is 6. This is where we're starting. So, we can actually make a dot on the 6. Because not only do we make it the first number in our number line, but don't forget, when uh, in any addition sentence, that first number is our starting point number. This is where we would start on any number line. And that means that our second number does what? 
it tells us how many jumps. So let's go ahead and count five jumps. Ready? One, two, three, four, and five. So I stop because I made five jumps. If you're not sure how many jumps you made, go ahead and count the lines. We have one, two, three, four, and five. All right, so I did make five jumps, and we landed on 11. So how many miles did Arnie run in all? He ran 11 miles. All right. So let's go ahead and get to the next page. And we're going to practice making our own little number line portions. And uh, I'll show you exactly what they want us to do, but th you'll see why I'm doing it this way instead. It's just much more friendly, I think. It's just an easier way to do it. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking. Let's go to the next page. All right, everyone, here is page 114. This is where we're on now. And I'm going to show you why... I am teaching this lesson the way I am. Uh, if you look real closely, okay, real quick at number one, they have us making uh, a plus three jump and a plus two jump, and it it gets a little crazy. I am not a fan of doing a number line like this. To me, it doesn't make sense. So if it doesn't make sense doing it like that to me, I would never expect anyone else to make this kind of crazy number line. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and wipe this out. And we're going to keep practicing the way that we were talking about a second ago. I'm going to take away some of these numbers. If you want to scribble out those uh, two jump lines, that's fine. Just don't go too crazy because we are going to use this number line the best we can to solve it. So now remember, um, if we don't have a number line and we need to make one really quick, the first number is our start number, right? So that is going to be the first number on our number line. That part kind of makes sense, doesn't it? We're not going to put any number before it because we're starting at 7. It's our start number. Okay, but let's go ahead and make some more numbers on this number line so we can actually make some jumps. So next, after 7, we have 8. After 8, we have 9. Then we have 10. 11. 12. And I'm going to go up to 13 again. All right, now I'm going to switch colors. If you want to have a little bit of fun with this and you want to use a crayon to jump, that's fine. Why not? Or if you have a colored pencil, preferably a colored pencil so we can erase it. Uh, this is one of the few times you're going to hear me say, go ahead and use a crayon. Because we're just going to go through this one together. For, the, for number two, uh, you're not going to want to use a crayon. Okay? So we start at seven. That's our first number on the number line that we made. And that's our starting number. Our jump number is five. So let's go ahead and make five jumps. One, two, three, four, and five. I stop. What number did I land on? I landed on 12. So that's our answer. Seven plus five is 12. Now I will help you set up the number line for number two, but then you're going to do all the jumps on your own, okay? So just remember when we make a number line, when we have a, only if we have a blank one, we're going to take six. That's going to be our first number, six. And we're going to just keep making a whole bunch of other numbers until it's filled up. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. I'll stop there. Okay, guys. And then two is our jump number. So go ahead and make those jumps and see what kind of answer we get and then when you're done uh, we will go over it together all right if you're still working on it press pause okay but if you're done let's continue so our start number is six so i put a oh you know let me change colors here so our starting die is on 6. Okay. Our next number is 2. We're adding 2, so that means we're going to make 2 jumps. 1, 2, and stop. We landed on 8. 
So 6 plus 2 equals 8. Let's just do one more together. And this one you're going to do completely on your own. Let's go to the next page, which is page 115. And we're going to talk about it real quick before you get started. Okay, so we're on 115, page 115. We're going to do number 3. Now, the only thing I'm going to say here to remind you is that the first line needs to be the, the, the 4. That's our start number. And make sure that you uh, try not to write too big on this number line, okay? And fill it up as much as you can and solve what is 4 plus 7. All right, I'm going to give you guys uh, quite a bit of time here. Take your time. Don't rush. What is 4 plus 7? Go ahead and solve it. All right, if you're not done, pause the video. Please take your time, okay? Please do. For those of you that are done, let's go over this really quick, okay? And then I'll give you your independent work for today. Okay, let's finish making this number line first. So after four, we have five. After five, we have six. Then seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12 and 13. If you needed to keep going after the number line a little bit, like if I, uh, if you're making a line over here, like I'm continuing it, that's fine. Don't get too stressed about it if it ends up going over. Okay, so let's go ahead and add 4 plus 7. Okay, let me switch colors here. So remember, our first number on the line is also our start number, which is 4. Let's go ahead and make seven jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll just count these to make sure. I had one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven jumps right there. And I landed on 11. So now I know that four plus seven is 11. What I would like for you guys to do next on your own. This is your independent work. But if you are having a lot of trouble with this, please let me know. You can work with me and some other friends on the carpet. But if you feel pretty comfortable with this, go ahead and do number four all the way through number seven completely on your own. When you're done, put your name at the top and then put it on the back table for me to check it. All right. For friends that are not in my classroom and that might be watching this, Make sure you ask your teacher what he or she would like you to do next. All right, so this is the end of the video. I hope that this is making sense. I hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions, always make sure you ask your teacher. Or if you're in my classroom, make sure you ask me. Um, and that's it. Uh, don't rush through this, guys. Take your time. And I will see you all later. Have a great day.